okay guys so this is what it is i want to show you how you can fund your portfolio how you can fund your portfolio for those of you whose uh, account has been approved you need to fund it you need to fund it you know for those of my clients the way i normally do it for them some of them we we transfer their money into my account i log in into their portfolio and then do the transfer direct to the account but mind you your money from your portfolio cannot be moved to any other account except the account that you uh, actually attach to your account that is the trading account so whichever way you want to fund your account you can use a mobile transfer you can go to the bank to do it whichever way you want to do it you can do that and you can do it from any account you may be operating gt bank and you have somebody who want to fund your uh, trading portfolio from assets bank they can do that but it's only pulling out only when you want to withdraw from your trading account that you cannot you know uh, uh, push forward to any other account except the account that is attached to your main trading account <clears throat> so this is how it is for instance you want to fund your account right now you just come to your portfolio this is your portfolio you know you check it from your portfolio you come to uh, balances to see from your balances this client this particular client has about 1000 plus balance so you actually want to fund this particular ng portfolio ng portfolio portfolio cash not fixed income when you put any money in your fixed income just like the like the like the, like the word they're fixed it's actually fixed just like you are saving some funds or you are just doing a fixed deposit you can't use the money you funded in your fixed account to buy any shares <clears throat> you can't it has to be in the ng portfolio or the vault balance the vault balance is for dollar dollar account that is for dollar funding so this is how you go uh you just because if you click here now you see the funding platform will automatically change itself it reveals the dollar funding but this is ng ng will only give you the assets to fund using naira so you come here and then you choose any particular trading system you want to use either bank transfer for you is in nigeria and you are funding in uh, in uh, using your naira account always choose either the debit card or the bank transfer i normally use the bank transfer because i'll be the one to effect any amount that you want to put but if you use your card of course a lot of persons are skeptical about uh, you know sharing their card details with any online uh, platform but i know trove is a well regulated trading platform a well regulated trading platform by nigerian stock exchange so it is a government approved and government uh, regulated platform so you can choose a uh, bank transfer you just go ahead and click how much do you want to fund you can choose any amount the list is 10 naira 50 naira and thereabout for instance i want to fund 2000 i'll go ahead and say continue then there must be a processing fee for 2000 the processing fee for 2000 is 15 naira 11 kobo 15 naira 11 kobo so at the end of the day what you are paying is 2000 2000 15 naira 11 kobo so you said yes deposit once you do this automatically it's going to generate an account for you that is so unique to your account to your trading account so once you say pay it will generate the funding account the bank account you are going to pay the money into so if if at the end of the day you do a transfer you can see the account number this particular client this particular individual her account is this Trove has given her this particular unique account so anytime at all she making any transfer to this particular account the money will reflect in a trading platform in a trading portfolio so you can copy this and then do a transfer 
because you are doing a bank transfer. And the moment you do that, at the end of the day, you just click, say, I have made this bank transfer. Prove we definitely automate and confirm this payment and the money will reflect in your account. So this is how you can do your, your funding. So whichever one you want to do, just do that. You know, once you are able to do that, then we can start our trading. This when you do that, I'm going to show you how we can choose our uh, different trading or different stocks. You know, you must create a watch list. You move this watch list. I mean, these are stocks you are buying into your watch list. So from there, you can then decide to start buying from the comparison of different uh, stocks. So do this and then we move it from this point.